Oh, hi there, didn't see you. Just catching up on some very interesting uh, reading material. I'll get back to you later. All right, so welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. Version 4.5 has dropped. Let's take a look then, shall we? I'm sure there's some uh, new information. All right. So let's have a look. So thank you for playing Bleach Brave Souls. A new update version 4.5.0 is available. Go to the store to update the latest version. So if you haven't done it already, I'm pretty sure you've already done it, but uh, yes. So a new release system. Once a six star character has been fully powered up to 150 without, with a maxed out soul tree, the option to release them will become available. Releasing a character will now add new leveling souls to the bottom of their soul tree. Unlocking all of these new leveling souls will increase the character's level cap to 200. Loading tips will be updated to coincide with the new release system. Okay. See the new release system added. Notice for more details. So we finally have video recording. Uh, turn on in-game video recording in the options menu to enable video recording. Also in the options menu you can choose to turn on show user videos. If you select this option you'll be able to watch other players videos of the same quest from the continue screen if your team is knocked out during the quest. Really? Really? Okay. Uh, play Bleach Brave Souls. Bleach Brave Souls uses the every play video recording platform. Please note that there may be delay between posting videos. Okay, so yeah. So basically, all it is is um, recording gameplay of like quests and whatnot. I th I think what people, or I think what I was really expecting was like recording fucking everything that you do in the game, like even summons and whatnot. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So I guess that could be a little disappointing for some people who want to kind of like do stuff like me and Bleach Cowboy and Reward and Tor Crunch and etc etc etc. Um, so um, yeah, so for people that are we're wanting to do that, sorry, but you're just gonna have to go out and get like a recording device or something. Um, but uh, yeah, you can I guess you can show off your uh, your character quest battle. I don't know what to call it. So just gameplay. Data recover options. The screen turns black and the game no longer responds. Added to data recovery options. Okay. Character album changes. Tapping on the thumbnail image of a character you have not yet acquired in the album. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I like that. I like that. But does it show their level 200 stats though? At the moment, the effect button in the top right of the character info screen does not appear when transitioning to the character info screen from the album. We plan to fix this in a future update. Wait, what? Oh, you mean like, um... Okay, yeah, I understand what that means now. Okay. Retrying quest. The process for retrying a completed quest from the quest results screen has been streamlined. Now tapping retry button after completing a quest will automatically transition you to the quest preparation screen with a first friend in your friends list highlighted and ready to join you as an ally. Yay! I'm going to be using you as friends now. Yay! <laughs> we'll see. Uh, event orders. The time limit for event orders will now be displayed in the event orders tab. Issues fixed. A boss's super strong attacks hitting in areas outside the indicated area of effect when joining a cult quest as a guest. Okay. Wait, really? Super strong attacks hitting in areas outside the indicated area. So how long has that been going on for? Because I got to be honest, I have a lot of problems with um, dodging those types of attacks. So it's going to be very interesting to see what will happen in Extreme Co-op. That's the only thing I'm really bad at, um, dodging the uh, giant AoEs on the ground. That's I'm really bad at that. Especially when you have a lag. But we'll see. We'll see what happens in Extreme Co-op. Team buff strong attacks not having any buff effect during co-op quests as compensation with this issue. All players will retreat. Okay, cool. Should I do a YOLO single then for 25 orbs? Fuck it, why not? Let's do it. Uh, we'll, not, we'll do it later though. Uh, release system. Okay. To celebrate this new feature and give everyone the chance to try it for themselves. All players will three, receive three of the new Hokoku's will item. While that's nice, you still need to give us the new crystal jewel thingies, because there's really no point in releasing a character if you don't have the fucking jewels, really. So, 
Uh, release requirements. The character must be a 6-star character. 150, 100% on Soul Tree. Yep. So let's take a look. So the Hogyoku's Will. The number of Hogyoku's Wills you need to release a character will be the same as the number of Hogyoku's required to awaken the character from 5-star to 6-star. Uh, so five, for, three for standard, five for frenzy and metal exchange. Hokoku's will can be acquired as ranking rewards in brave battles for completely completing weekly orders, or rare drops in raids. Okay, good to know. These things: releasing a character will add new leveling souls to the bottom of their soul tree. These new souls require a new type of item, droplets. Okay, why the fuck would you call it that? But all right. To unlock droplets can be acquired from raids. Right. Please note that the increased crystal jewel drop soul trait will not affect the number of droplets you can acquire, which is fucking stupid. So hopefully Caleb will change that later on. Uh, after releasing a character, their soul tree will be shown as still being 100%. Unlocking all the, the new leveling souls will increase the soul tree completion to 150. We also have a new character thumbnail thingy. Uh, releasing a character will have no effect on the appearance of their thumbnail image. However, a new badge, okay. A new badge will be added to indicate when a character has reached level 200. Level 200 reward. So you will receive a one Hogyoku's Will as a reward for leveling up a character to level 200. This reward is limited to one per character. You will not receive additional Hokyoku Wills for leveling up the same character to level 200 multiple times. So basically, you're not getting spirit orbs. I saw that coming a mile away. I am completely fine with that. You people have to understand that, um, you know, when you release your character from 150 to 200 it's the same fucking character people it's not a new character so there was no way in hell that you were going to get more spirit orbs i know everybody wanted to it would have been nice but I saw it coming a while mile away that you will not get any spirit orbs and i'm completely fine with that and you people are just gonna have to deal with it if you don't like it so deal with it all right Nice. New battle ranking rewards. The Hokokus will be added as a ranking reward in Brave Battles as of 29th of May. Uh, okay, uh, let's have a look. Head Captain, 1 to 33, 31 or below 2. Captain, 1 to 23, 21 to 300, 2. 301 or below 1. Lieutenant, 1 to 52, 251 or below 1. Third seat, 1 to 2,500, 1, 4th seat, 1 to 1,500, 1. Okay. Wait, that's it? Oh, wait, but it can also be dropped from raids, kind of. A rare, a rare drop. Oh, what's this? Wait, what? New weekly orders. The Hogyokers will be added as a weekly order reward from the week starting the 5th of June. Clear a daily order times 30. What does it mean by that? What does it mean by clear a daily order? Does it mean like, um... I think what it means is like, do such and such PvP battles. That's kind of fucking easy then, isn't it? I don't know, I'm a little confused at what that means, but I think it might mean, like, you know, the daily stuff, like, you know, uh, do three story quests, do three co-ops. It's kind of easy, right? Yeah, I'll leave it. I'm a little confused on that one, but I guess that's it. That's it. So, okay. Uh... And I guess that's it. Are you going to show us the level 200 stats? Okay, so what happens if I just go... Bang. <gasps> They're actually showing 200 stats. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Yukiora, fuck off. I don't care about you. Alright, who do I want to look at though? Soifon. Shunko Soifon. Show me what you got. Okay. Okay. So, let's have a look. I don't I can't, I don't have the stats to compare here unfortunately, so you're going to have to look it up on uh, Brave Souls FYI. But I'm just going to look at them straight up. So, stamina uh, 908, decent. Attack of 596. So, that's basically higher than Tag Team Soifon, but Tag Team Soifon at 200 is going to probably be like over the fucking roof now. But that's decent attack. Uh, defense 235, focus 334, and spiritual pressure of uh, 573. 
I'd say that's pretty good. I say that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good stats for uh, Shunko Soifon. I think. Really nice. Really nice. Who are we going to have a look at that next? Let's have a look. Oh, swimsuit Soifon. Okay, not great. Not great. Uh, stamina 897, attack 565, defense 318, focus 361, spiritual pressure 561. So obviously we now know who's the uh, better character, Shunko Soifon. Because they're basically the two, they're basically these two characters are the exact same thing. They have the same attacks, same special, it's just different stats and a different attribute. So I'll stick with Shunko. Who's next? You know what, let's take a look at Kendo. Oh my goodness, that fucking attack. Okay. Um, stamina, 972. Attack, almost 700. 695, that's pretty fucking damn good. And he has Flurry. So I'm kind of interested to see what the other Kenpachis will have now. Uh, defense, 318. Focus, 291. Spiritual pressure, 538. I'm alright with that, I'm alright with that. All right, who are we going to look at next? Japanese Paris on the now. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Stamina, 988, attack 613, defense 339, focus 2... 321, spiritual pressure 675. They're pretty damn good stats. Oh, they're pretty damn good stats. They're pretty that would really help me as well in extreme co-op, but I've decided to as I am a Soyphon fan, I've decided it would be right to awaken or release a Soyphon first. So it's gonna be tag team Soyphon. So um but that would have really helped in extreme co-op. Well, I guess yeah, I don't know. I'll, th I'll think about it, but I am doing Tide Team Soifon first. But those stats are really nice. I like. I like. Who's next? Bonkai! Okay, okay. Uh, stamina, 978. Attack, 671. Six, Defense 334, focus 300, spiritual pressure 575. Okay, I'm alright with those stats. Almost, almost 700. And that's Bunkai Soifong. What the hell is Tag Team gonna have? Surely Tag Team has more than 671. God damn. I'm curious now, I'm fucking curious. If I see 700 on her, I'm gonna go batshit crazy. Alright. I would like to look at Bunkai Toshiro because his special move is OP. Wow, that's a little disappointing actually. That's actually a little disappointing. Stamina, 994, attack, 644, defense, 350, focus, 297, spiritual pressure, 622. 622. That's disappointing. I was expecting it to be a lot higher than that. I don't even know what it was originally, but 622 is like... It doesn't really feel anything special, to be honest. It really doesn't. Um, so... I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really happy with the spiritual pressure, but regardless, his uh, special is still fucking OP as hell, so whatever. Yes, Hyorin Maru. Yes, I use Hyorin Maru. Oh, that, those stats are also kind of disappointing. Uh, look at the stamina though. Stamina 999, attack. 629, defense 332, focus 292, spiritual pressure 622. So, honestly, was expecting attack to be a little higher than that, maybe like 7, 750? No, 650, but, um, eh, mixed about that, to be honest. Here we go, Tag Team Soifon, do not disappoint. Oh, not 700, but the stamina's, the stamina's good, just over a thousand. 
1001 attack 686 still good still good defense uh, 347 focus uh, 304 and spiritual pressure 579 so of course the spiritual pressure isn't really that spectacular but I go full nad with her anyway so I don't give a fucking shit but yeah that attack is nice very nice very nice okay I'm alright with that I'm alright with that Sunny is sunny. Okay, okay. That's. Uh, mm, I wish the stamina was over a thousand, but it's better than nothing. Uh, stamina 984, attack uh, 657. That's fucking damn good. Uh, defense 343, uh, focus 334, and spiritual pressure 622. So I'm very alright with that. I'm very alright with that. Like I said before, I just wish her stamina was just over a thousand, but whatever, I'll take it. That attack is good. I like it. I like that attack. That's really all the characters that I'm interested in, to be honest. We all know that Uryu has the highest attack for a ranged character. Now I'm very curious to see what it is at 200. So let's take a look. Oh my god. 705. That's damn fucking good now, isn't it? And look at the stamina as well. God damn. Stamina, 1024. Attack, 705. Defense, 345. Focus, 328. And spiritual pressure, 591. Not bad. I would really like that attack on uh, Tag Team Soifon, but whatever. And I just realized to I just realized I forgot to look at the other Kimpachis, so let's have a look at that now. I it was right there. I completely missed him. Decent. 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 I wish the stamina was a little bit higher, but that's alright. Stamina, 908. Attack, 636. Defense, 302. Focus, 289. Spiritual pressure, 562. I'm okay with them. I'm okay with them. And now for the one that I don't have, Broken. All speed, Kenpachi. Oh, he's right there. I am a little bit surprised that Tag Team Soifon has more attack than him. But you also have to keep in mind that he does have Flurry. Now, that would be just fucking too OP. But, um, yeah, I'm okay with those stats. Uh, stamina, 100 and 100. 1,028. Attack, 670. Defense, 361. Focus, 105. Spiritual pressure, 634. I'm okay with those stats. Anybody that has Kenpachi, are you alright with those stats? They look pretty good to me. And I'm just basically just looking at characters. I don't know, it seems fun to me. I'm very curious to see uh, who has the highest attack in the game now. Because what? who was it before? Was it, um, was it Ikaku just based on the uh, soul trait? Or was it somebody else now? I'm going to have a look at the Ikaku. Fuck it, I'm going to have a look at Ikaku. Oh my goodness, 744, but you also have to keep in mind it's because of the soul trait, so it's basically 644. Uh, stamina, 1007, attack, 744, defense, 347, focus, 326, spiritual pressure, 575. You know what, this, I'm just constantly looking at character stats here, but it's interesting to me. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, so... Uh, if there's a particular character's 200 stats that you want to look at, there you go. Even if you don't have the fucking character, you can have a look at it now. So I think that's really cool that they've done that. Um, so uh, I guess that's about it. So before I end it, oh wait, did so we got we got shit too, didn't we? Oh, so we get thirty. Oh yeah, I have to do a yolo single. Good thing I remembered. Good thing I remembered. It would be nice if you gave us the droplets as well, but whatever. <laughs> Which means I'm gonna have to spam the shit out of raids. Fantastic. So I'm, I'm also assuming that a particular droplet, like um, a stamina droplet, would only drop from stamina raids. How fucking annoying. Ugh. Um. Yeah. Yellow single. Let's fucking do it. Yellow. 
course you give me the three star. And what is my rank? Okay, so yes, as you probably know, the Extreme Co-op is coming up and I'm trying so hard to get to third seat. I'm, this is a one time only people. I am only doing this Extreme Co-op once and once only. And once it's done, my PvP ranks will plummet. Cause I'm getting sick and tired of the bullshit in PvP here. Like, like PvP should not be a requirement to get into Extreme Co-op because let me just say it to you right now, people. PvP, no skill. No skill, okay? No fucking skill. It's all RNG and it's all artificial intelligence, okay? It takes no fucking skill, okay? What I think they need to do is they need to implement some sort of, uh, let's just say, four days before the Extreme Co-op, they implement a limited quest where you have to do a specific uh, trial in under a certain time limit. Now that takes fucking skill, not this bullshit, okay? So Caleb, if you're watching, please don't do this PvP bullshit for co-op because it takes no skill, okay? Sure, you may have like the best, you know, accessories and the characters, but it doesn't make you a good player. You have to understand that. It doesn't make you a good player, okay? If you want to be a good player, it's all about controlling the damn character yourself and not letting some CPU artificial intelligence do it itself. So, um... That's just my thoughts. So, um, so yeah, I'm working my ass off to stay in that promotion zone. So, yeah, it's a one-time thing only, people. I'm only doing this extreme co-op, and that's it. I don't give a fuck about the rest. So, yeah, I guess I'll j maybe join Bleach Cowboy for that or something sometimes. So, um, I guess that's about it. I'm rambling on as usual. I see 25 minutes down there. So, uh, yeah, um, so... Thanks for watching this little random video. Hope you enjoyed. Which character you're going to uh, release first? Please put it down in the comments below. And reasons why? Is it because your is it because your favorite character, or is it because it's the, uh, the your character that you like to play in the game, or is it because you want the OP stats? Let me know. And um, yeah, as you know, I'm going to be releasing uh, tag team Swayfon first, but not until I get the jewels. Or the droplets is what it's called. So, um, I guess it would be smart maybe to just release now and actually look how many I fucking need. Ugh. Do I really want to do it? I'm going to lose my green number. And then I'll be a scrub. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's do it. It's done. Oh, there's an order for it? Oh, hopefully I get something good then. Okay, I guess it was worth doing it then. Oh my god, look at this shit. You think it would be smart to go for the level 10 one first? Okay, 40, huh? Oh, that's times two as well. Okay, oh look, I can do it with spirit orbs. Why don't I waste spirit orbs? <laughs> okay, so that's 80 mind... No, it's not mind, is it? It's focus, you damn ass. Focus droplets, okay. Are they all... Are they... Oh! Oh, are they all the same because she's mine attribute? Is that maybe right or not? Oh, you fucker. You fucker. Okay. <laughs> it's not. Okay, then. Let's go back, then. Okay, so 40... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 80 there. 80 there. 80 there. Uh, so they're all going to be 80. 80. What a pain in the scrotum. Fucking hell. Jesus. I just really hope the droplet uh, drop rate is decent, you know? Because we all know how the uh, how terrible the fucking uh, book drop rate is in co-op, so if it's going to be anything like that, we're, we're fucking doomed, like seriously. What's the point of releasing the character if we can't even like max it out for three months? I don't know. We'll just see, we'll just see, so um... Before I finish, let's check that order. Ah, uh, free? Do I look like I need money, pleb? Do I look like I need fucking money? Come on. You can do better than that, Caleb. Jesus. Is there one for like leveling a character to 200? 
Okay. Okay. 50 spirit orbs. That's a one-time only, only thing, obviously. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Now I'm seeing 28 minutes there. I will shut up now. Thank you again for watching. If you watched from start to finish, hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, have fun with the game. Best of luck on your... Uh, Hogyoku's will drop, uh, droplets drop, uh, and uh, yeah, have fun with the game, and best of luck on your summons, and I forgot to mention, uh, so I saw on the K-Lab game station that there's going to be a speed attribute summons tomorrow with Speed Kenpachi, Mishiro, and Yukio, you know what, why the fuck not, let's do two, two multis on that bitch, yes, look forward to it people, I can't wait to get four stars, see ya!